Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode in my Android Engine Open World tutorial series. So today I am going to work on a road. So I am going to create a road using landscape splines and then I am going to automatically apply some textures uh, using uh, or some texture layer that I have created in the landscape material. Uh, for the areas that I want to define roads so as you can see here I have defined something like a footpath so here I haven't used any of the road meshes yet only the texturing so I have done this texturing using that uh, by apply automatically applying one of the landscape layers I have created and yeah that's what I am going to do today so the reason to create a road is this so I want to so here we have something like a farmland and somewhere at the end of the road maybe i want to create something like a small town or a village or the home of these farmers and then i want to create an ai which follows this road and go to the town and come back here maybe move goods from here to there so i want to do stuff like that so that's why i started working on this road okay so let's get started and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me okay so yeah so now that i have worked on civilians farming so for the next part i want to work on some civilians that follows a road so for that first I need to have some kind of a road so maybe like here is a farm and somewhere over there is a village or some small town people farmers are taking goods from the town to this farmland something like that so yeah anyway yeah I don't think I have to justify roads so you know what roads are for so yeah so let's see how to create a road so this is the first time we are going to create a road in our game other than the ones we created to demonstrate procedural tools so okay and the landscape part there are uh, here should be yeah splines we have splines so let's see how to add some splines and using splines how to define some roads so the reason to use splines are because as you can see in some places uh, the landscape is not flat so by using this landscape splines i can make those places flat and also i can automatically apply a material layer as well so okay how to place an spline i think i have to press uh, control okay yeah this is the starting point it seems to be actually but how can I change it okay so maybe the width only 200 and the full of also 200 let's keep them all 200 I'm not sure so let's see and I'll add uh, the next wait let's see how do we lay the land the okay let's say we have the village here so the next spline point is here so the way i'm placing is keep control placed pressed and click and here what happened mm. 
Okay, let's see our village is here. All right, now I think that's enough length. Right, and uh, now let's select one of these spline points and yeah. Here I'll select the segments. Here I can add a spline mesh but I don't need a spline mesh at the moment. So for the layer I'll use L2. So that's this brown layer. And what else I have to do? What happened? Nothing happened. Let's select the segment. Select all connected segments, right? And yeah, maybe I'll deform uh, select this deform landscape to splines. I'll select that option only selected. Uh, okay, something happened. Yeah, now as you can see. If I toggle the game mode, as you can see, the brown is laid, uh, the brown texture is laid along the path. And yeah, okay. but I feel like this edges are too sharp somewhat so maybe let's increase the let's call control point side fall off to like 500 I select all control points yes and then again press this Whoa. yeah I did the trick but I don't like it because too much brown around the road okay so yeah I think this would be enough for now I mm, know oh we can do something like this right so let's apply no grass layer to only selected wait did I name the layer row quickly check yeah no grass oh we don't have a layer info assigned now it should work okay we need to have a right now let's go back to where it is lines Wait, where's this fly? Okay. Now let's default. Okay, now I think the 
new material layer okay now it did the coloring and now we have removed grass in the sides of the road and we have a pretty wide road and but I only need some brown a little bit in the middle of the road because this is not like a huge road this is just a footpath so then again I'll assign L2 and go to control points and I'll set the side fall off to like 10 and the width, width to like uh, 20 and press deform again well nothing significant oh right. well yeah actually we got some brown here and there somewhere here uh, that's not enough let's go to control points and let's make it 40 did we get okay some more but it's still not enough right I think this is good yeah let's play the game and get a feel of the road okay so yeah we have we can see some well this is not good enough because oh, we got some enemies in the side of the road but we have something now but we may have to add some kind of like uh, no tire tracks maybe car tracks or horse tracks something like that to make it look like a proper road and maybe some structures in the side of the road and maybe some road mesh uh, but uh, yeah I need to find some assets for that some free assets hopefully so and then uh, I'll see what more I can do in the next episode so for now I'll stop at this point point. and uh, if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of my patron club link would be in the description below and depending on the tier you join you will have different privileges as I have explained here also I, I will release an updated uh, farmer AI code soon so feel free to download that and thanks for watching see you in the next episode goodbye